In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, we bless God and we give him all the glory. We give him all the honor and adoration. It is by his grace that we are still alive. Uh, not by our works, not by anything that we can do, our intellect or our money, but it is by the grace of God. And I want to welcome each and every one of you that have um, joined today's session. This is uh, Tari Until GB and Do with Power. And this is our eighth session, all right? Um, we have two more sessions to go. And then after that, we will see what the Lord is going to do with us. Amen, 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 amen. I want to believe that your life is being blessed and uh, uh, God has something great for you. Amen. So we are going to enter into prayer because I know time is money. You understand? One, one of the precious commodities that God gave us is time. And time needs not to be wasted. So praying and tarrying is not wasting. It's an investment into our future. 
Am I making sense? It is our what investment into our future. The Bible makes me understand that there was a man called Cornelius, and this guy was a Roman centurion, and this man loved the things of God. He loved the things of God, but yet it was not given to him to be saved. But he gave money and he prayed. The Bible says one day he was fasting and he was praying. Imagine he has not been given the opportunity to hear the words of the Lord. So he, I wonder what he was praying about. You understand? But he was fasting and he was praying. And in the fast and prayer, the Bible says that an angel visited him. That means the Lord dispatched an angel to him. And he said to him, listen to what he said. He says that your prayer and your giving has become what? A memorial before me. <laughs> before the Lord God Almighty. Your what? Your prayer and your giving has become a memorial before God. Imagine that the Lord dispatched an angel to you right now and says that your prayer has become a memorial. A memorial can be simply explained as a statue that has been placed before God. That any time he sees it, he reminds, he re, he is remembered of your prayer. And, and he is moved to do something on your behalf. Amen. So prayer, continuous prayer is an investment for the future. Your children, your grandchildren, generations to come. Am I making sense? So enough of my talking because we have a few things that we're going to be sharing but i want us to start engaging in prayer so i want you to lift up your voice and begin to worship the lord god almighty begin to give him praise begin to give him all the glory begin to give him all that adoration begin to exalt him for he alone is god and there is none like him just lift up your voice for the for the next uh four five minutes just begin to lift up your voice and bless the name of the lord we give you all the praise and we give you all the honor Oh Jesus, let them razan tala na baha, rika pande brada bazun tala brada da 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 ya, zabranda balabran kan tonto brada baya, imran tala brazan kapale bado jabra. We bless your name, O oh God. Hallelujah. Zabranda bazon da la la da ya, ika pande brada brada bazun da 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 ya. You alone are God. You alone are mighty. You alone are glorious. You alone are magnificent. You alone are mysterious. There is no God like our God. There is no king like our king. There is no king like our king. Everlasting savior. Mighty ruler. Lover of our soul. Man de presente de re ba 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 anta brada ba ha ya kapan de bre de bre de ba zunta la branda ba ya i pa la branda la ba ba zanka don do brada ba da da ha ja brada ba zanta da da ba brada ba 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 ja ba brada ba ba ja brada ba 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 zon kom to brandi ya pa ya le brande be de bra zunda ba la ba ba come on lift up your voice and worship the name of the Lord. Is you alone a worthy? Hallelujah. La branda bazan kanta da da branda badaya. We join with the angels in heaven and we proclaim that you alone are worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The beginning through to the end. Alpha and Omega. Yimrana mazan kanta la branda badaya. Le branda ba le brando zo bandele le baha. Ya bara ba branca ba nebrede abaya. Rabba ba ba zan da 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 brada ya ya kapan de brada ba bra zon do brada da ya e bale branda la la ba zan kon ton to branda ya e le brende brede ba ba zan da la la ba ha rabba ba 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 kapa ya kapala branda da da ba zan do branda da ya ni ba branda ba da ba bra zan da ya ah la branda ba le ba ba ya ya branda la la ba zo ya hallelujah o king of kings and lord of lords hallelujah Ya mana branda zambranda beleha jemen kondoro bozo brandi di apala rabada dadaha 
imrana mazanta ndura mazaya ye bala branga lele baba bazanta na dabaha ye bande brede babra da bazika branga da dabaha ye bande brede babra da bazunda lele baha e ma konduru bobro zubranka baya e bande brede baba baba shaba ye branta lele babranda na dabaha come on cry out unto the king of kings hallelujah hallelujah you alone you alone you alone are worthy you alone you alone you alone you are seated on your holy throne who can be compared unto you O oh god angels of heaven sing holy 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 are you lord god almighty rabada zanta rabaha eba branca bada brada da ha eba nda de brazon da de babaya hallelujah you are la branda ba you are elohim you are yahweh you are nisi adonai el sadai rakapana brada da da bazanta da da baha hallelujah rababa bazanta tonda bra i male brande de babra zanta la la baya i cabrande me le babrando zende de baha le brande me de brezon bondon do brada da ha reba da 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 babra da baha ya me brande ba de baha i branta la baya ya capanda brazon do da ha ya bale le mazura ba le brande mazanta da ya e pala branda bazande de ha i pale brando zondo brada da 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 ya bana branda da ya oh jesus we give you praise we give you glory i want you to begin to pray in the holy ghost as we study some episodes before that the bible says that he that speaketh in tongues he edified himself begin to pray in the holy ghost for 10 minutes it is 12 11 now by 12 21 i want you to pray in the holy ghost yes pray in the holy ghost ya brenda bala brenda nda ika pala brada baba ya ya brenda bala baba bazo nda brenda baha ya brenda brenda mazanda lala baha raba baba ya le brenda bala baba brenda baba brenda baba brenda baba brenda ya brenda bala baba brenda baba ya ya brenda bala baba brenda baba brenda baba brenda baba ya brenda bala baba brenda baba brenda baba brenda baba ya brenda bala 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 baba brenda baba brenda
Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Lebrenda Baha, Yabalaba Branda Baha, Yabrana Banana, Lebranda Baha, Yabrana Baya, Yabranda Baya, Yabranda Baya, Yabranda Baya, Yabranda Baya, Lebranda Baya, Yabranda 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 Baya, Y
Papa, 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 Branda, Branda, Maha, Yakapa, Branda, Nadeha, Yabranda, Brandi, Bidi, Apaya, Rebendi, Bidi, Andorra, Rabazandaya, Lebrandi, Bidi, Apaya, Libranda, Mamaya, Rababa, Baba, Japa, Ramana, Maya, Yakabranda, Branda, Ibranda, Baba, Bazanda, Lava, 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 Rabada, Lava, Lava, Zanda, Lava, Rababa, Zaman, Gonto, Branda, Yabrandi, Bidi, Branda, Ipalaba, Ibende, Ipalaba, Yamana, Branda, Zanta, Yabrana, Babana, Bazanta, Lebaya, Ekabalaba, Rababa, Rabana, Baba, Rabana, Baba, Rabana, Baba, Ipalaya, Lebranda, Lebranda, Rebenda, 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 Ipaya, 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 Yabranda, Yabrana, Baba, Yabrana, Baba, Yabrana, Baba, Yabrana, Baba, Yabrana, Baba, Baba, ya brada 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 baba, ya kabando ndo brada baba, ya brada baba, ya kabando brada baba, ya brada In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are praying. Hallelujah. Oh Jesus, we give you praise. We are praying. If you can do me a favor, turn your Bibles to Judges chapter 6, verse 25. Judges chapter 6, verse 25. Judges chapter 6, verse 25. The Bible says that That same night, that same light, night, the Lord said to him, Take the second bull from your father's herd, the one seven years old, tear down your father's altar to bow, and cut down the Asherah pole beside it. What, I don't know how many of you have encountered this scripture. But have you thought it to yourself, why was it relevant that this young man would, would, would tear down his father's altar to Baal? Baal was a demon. It's a spirit. That the father had placed, had set up an altar to be able to contact that spirit. You understand? To seek for the help of that spirit. Am I making sense? So, he, uh, he, uh, the, the, the father, being the head of the house, has contracted a demon, an ancient spirit, to now invite that spirit into the home to take over the affairs of the home. So, we have something called demonic transaction. So, on that altar... There was a transaction of spirits. You understand? Because the man felt that his protection and his deliverance and his provision was going to come from that spirit. And in that sense, there was a trade in the spirit uh, that I am trading my descendants and my family to you to seek for your protection, to seek for your provision, to seek for whatever it is that transaction entailed. So, he has been given that spirit, bow or the spirit operating uh, uh, as bow right, has now a legal grounds over that family, over Gideon's family. So, because there was a legal grounds, uh, Gideon will not be able to rise up to do anything good without the, 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 the spirit allowing it. Am I making sense to you? Because now the family belongs to Baal. Yesterday, when we were talking, I was talking about ancient demons and ancient spirits. And these ancient demons and ancient spirits, they are principalities, they are powers, they are thrones, they are rulers of darkness, they are spiritual wickedness. 
and listen, they have legal control over our destinies because you know what? Our forefathers worshipped them. They, they set up an altar and they called this spirit to, they, they, they invoked the spirit and they did a transaction, they did a trade, they did business with these spirits. And we are the casualties. Our destinies were traded for riches. And this has this happened years and years ago before we were born. But because it is in the bloodline, someone from our bloodline engage in such a transaction they trace the bloodline to us does it make sense so now they have legal grounds to do whatever they want to do with our destinies why because we were sold to them by an ancestor in the blood but you know what there is a good news thank god for the blood of jesus and thank God for the sacrifice of Jesus. The, 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 the Bible says that men ought to pray. If we refuse to pray, we will faint. Amen? So today we are going to pray and tackle some things in the realms of the spirit. Tackle some things. Am I making sense to you? Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Now, I want us to open again to 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9. 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9. If you can open, that's fine. When you have the free time, just go back and listen to it. And write down some of these scriptures and write down some of the prayer points so that you can pray with it. The Bible says that Jabez was more honorable than his brethren or his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. So, Jabez was living an honorable life before God. Jabez was a hard worker. Jabez probably was educated because the Bible says he was an honorable man before his brethren. Jabez did things the right way before God. But yet Jabez's life was in shams. Jabez's destiny was not realized. Why? Because the, the, the mother had proclaimed and pronounced something upon him. So as Jabez was walking back and forth in life, toiling back and forth, doing everything that he could, uh, nothing good was coming out of Jabez's life. Uh, Jabez's de Jabez destiny was floating around. Was floating around. Anything that Jabez touched was not prospering. Anything that Jabez did was not working. Some of us, by the grace of God, we are Christians. By the grace of God, we are committed to church. By the grace of God, we are praying. By the grace of God and the help of the Holy Spirit, we are living a righteous life. But have you noticed that there are some things that are working too well in your family? Your finances are not going well. You work very hard, 80 hours a week, 50 hours a week. You are, you are working, working hard. But the money comes and the money vanishes. So right now, you are 30, you are 40, you are 50, and you have nothing to show for for yourself. You invest in a business and the money squander. A man comes around and, 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 and propose, and the next minute the man changes his mind and leave you. You get pregnant as a married woman, and by the time you realize something happens and the baby passes. And you wonder what's going on. 
So, when Jabez's mother spoke those words, I bore him in pain. So, I'm going to label him pain. A familiar spirit took that word. And that familiar spirit communicated that word to the ancient demons that had rule and legal grounds over the family. And when those were, were enacted and that was happening, the Bible says they took hold of that word and they began to torment the life of Jabez with pain. So there are some of us, we are walking around by the grace of God, trying to live an honest life, but because of spoken words against our life, spoken words that has been proclaimed over us, our destinies are in sample. We are floating everywhere, back and forth. Everything we touch messes up. We are going to pray by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that when Jabez realized that no, I can't be going on like this. I cannot be continuing like this in this life. The Bible says that Jabez entered into prayer. If you read the verse 10, the Bible says Jabez cried out to God, the God of Israel, the God that parted the Red Sea into two, the God that created the heavens and the earth. Now, have you wondered? Uh, let me ask a question. When Jabez was going through all this, where was God? Why did God not offer help to step into the situation to clear everything out for Jabez? Why did God take so long? Why did God not care so much about Jabez? <laughs> I'm not making sense to you. Oh, praise God. Some of us. We have re relegated our duties and our responsibilities to God, saying that God should take care of it. And if God wants me to be blessed, he will bless me. If God wants me to marry, I will marry. If God wants me to have that job, I'll have that job. Listen, that is deception from the pits of hell. Because as far as God is concerned, the blood of Jesus has been made available. The death of Christ has been accomplished. He has given you life. He has given you life. He has given you connectivity to divinity, to supernatural. So everything else is left for you to now rise up and take your place, take your responsibility and do that which is required of you to do. Yesterday, those of you that were with me, I said something. I said that when God told the people of Israel that I have given you a, a land filled with milk and honey, go and possess it. The, the Lord did not clear the people out of the land that were already inhabiting the land. There were people already in the land. But he said, I have given it to you as an inheritance. Go and possess it. Now, it was the, the, the responsibility of the Israelites, the different clans, to take possession of the land and clear the land of everyone so that they can live a peaceful life. Some of you, you are cohabiting with demons. You are cohabiting with spirits. You are cohabiting with ancient demons and you are crying that God should come and clear them out. God told the people of Israel, if you don't clear them, I am not going to clear them. But I assure you that I am with you. My strength is your portion. My grace is your portion. My power is your portion. God has given you the power. That's why the Bible says that for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Amen? Yesterday I said that, Je that Isaac told Edom, Esau, that when you grow restless, you will break his yoke off your neck. So whatever yoke that has been placed upon your neck by family authors,
by ancient demons when you get tired enough you will break it when you realize that you are getting old and you are not married every man uses you and abuses you and leaves you when you realize that you are working too hard but you have nothing to show for when you realize that your ministry has been shrank and reduced to nothing and you are carry you carry well you carry grace but no one is bothering with your ministry and you know that that is what you have been called to do and you are frustrated uh, like blind Bartimaeus was frustrated uh, you open your mouth and you begin to cry that uh, God uh, God have mercy the Bible says Jabez cried out unto the God of Israel and said oh that you will bless me and enlarge my territory let your hand be with me and keep me from harm that I will be free from pain that will be what that I will be free from pain he prayed and the Bible says and God granted his request so God is waiting to grant your request but are you willing to labor in prayer are you willing to labor in prayer? That is why he said that. That is why he said men ought to pray and never to faint. And he cited the parable of the of the widow that went to the judge to avenge her of her adversary. I, I, I need some people that are desperate, like I am desperate. I need some people that are restless, that are tired of being tired, to begin to rise up in prayer, so that the yoke of the enemy will be broken off. It's not that you have sinned, but a transaction took place in your bloodline and has caused things to happen in your life. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Oh, somebody say hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. One of the first things that we are going to pray is this. Every spoken word that has been released over your life, the Bible says that every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, we shall condemn. We are going to command every tongue to what? That is causing spiritual bondage to what? To wither and die in the name of Jesus by the blood of the Lamb. Am I making sense? Because you see, we are bound by the words we say. Maybe your mother spoke something out of anger. Your father spoke something out of anger. Your uncle said something out of anger. Your class teacher said something out of anger. An evil person proclaimed something upon your life, upon the life of your children. Maybe you yourself, you have said something out of desperation, out of anger out of sorrow upon your own life we are overturning those words by the blood of jesus lift up your voice and begin to pray right now father i pray that any spoken word upon my life uh, for the purposes of evil uh, in the name of Jesus uh, I overturn it by the blood of Jesus uh, I overturn it by the blood of Jesus uh, I neutralize its effect uh, upon my life uh, that of my family that of my children uh, that of my marriage uh, that of my ministry in the name of Jesus uh, Mala branda bazun de lebraha, ika branda bada branda da bazun de bre, yeke branda bre de bazun gondoro bobrozo brandi biha, i branda brada bazun de lebre kete brandi bili apa, i branda mazam gondong brandi bili apa ndo brada bazan da, ya bara 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 bazan da lele baba, ya ka branda brada bazan da lele baha, ya ka baba brada baha, ya branda bada da baba ya, ika branda da branda bala bara zon da brada ha, ya branda Come on, pray that every spoken word, any spoken word 
and the spoken word and the evil words that has gone forth concerning you, gone forth concerning your destiny, gone forth concerning your children, gone forth concerning your finances, gone forth concerning your marriage. You overturn it by the blood of Jesus. You neutralize its poison by the blood of Jesus. I cancel its effect by the blood of Jesus. Ramada Branda Daha, Yakapanda Braza Daha, Imanda Brada Bazango Brada Daha, Yakabrandi Bidi Apando Bazuka Braga Daha, Yakabraga Daga Brazunda de Breda Bacaba, Labrana Manana Bazonda Breda Bacaba, Imrana Banana Bazonda Breda Bacaba, Yamana Banana Bazanda Breda Baha, Yabranda Baha, Yakabrana Banana Bazaya, Yakabrana Banana Bazaya, Yakabrana Banana Baha, Imana Banana Bazanda In the name of Jesus, we are praying, but I need you to take note of something that the Spirit of God just dropped in my spirit. He says that these ancient demons have different kinds of characteristics. And sometimes you can identify them by the expression that they, they, they by, by their expression in various families. So in some families, uh, all the men are drunkards. That is a demon. In some families, uh, the men are promiscuous. You understand? There is the, 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 the family we have men that are poly, polygamous. They don't settle with one woman. There are some families, every first pregnancy becomes a topic, becomes a, 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 becomes a blood, a, a, be, 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 a, becomes a miscarriage. Am I making sense? Sir? There are some families, sir. oh my goodness, uh, uh, there, there is no marriage in the family. Every woman that marries finds themselves in divorce. So there are women, they have married five times. Yet there is no man that sticks with them. I didn't even take note of that. As I've told you this, let the Holy Spirit now begin to play in the mind. In your mind, those things, are, those expressions that you find in your own family. We are going to deal with it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now we are praying. In the name of Jesus. Now we are going to command every evil tongue. That has risen against you and your family to wither and die by the blood of Jesus. Lift up your voice for two minutes. Begin to pray that every tongue that has risen against you in judgment, we command it to wither and die in the name of Jesus. Ya mama mana mana na ba na ba na ba ha ya ba na ba na ba na ba na ba pa ya la ba na ba na ba ba na ba pa ba ya mana na ba zang gan da na ba ha ibra na ma ma zom do bre ye ge bre ne bre ne ye ge bre ne bre ne ye ge bre ne bre ne ibra na ba na ba na ba pa ya ya ba na ba na ba pa ya ya ba na ba na ba ha ibra na 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 ba ha ya ka ba na ba ha ya ba na 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 ya ima na ba na ma zang da da ya ya ka ba na ba na ba 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 do na ba zong do bre ha ya ba na Rabbana Bazan, the 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 Rabbana Bazan, the
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are praying. Now notice that in Jabez's story, Jabez's life was limited. There was a limitation that was placed upon Jabez because of the words that the mother spoke. So some of us, we are very talented. We are very gifted. Some of us, my God, we were born with greatness. If anybody sees you, they can smell greatness. But you can't rise up above a certain limit in your, in your family. It is called demonic limitation. So we are praying by the power of the Holy Ghost, by thunder, by fire, by lightning, that every form of limitation that has been placed over your destiny, that has been placed over your ministry, that has been placed over your children, that has been placed over, 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 over as a result of an evil wise, as a result of an ancient demon, we Break it off in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Ramana Mazunga Nebreneha. in the name of Jesus let me tell you something there is someone watching me there is someone watching me eh you have been writing exams over and over and over and over again and you have not been passing. It is not you. Oh. It is not you. Ha, listen, you have studied and studied and studied and studied. As I'm talking to you right now, you are still studying. But then there is a fear. Whether you will pass or you not pass, huh? that fear is instigated by an ancient demon. Because of that limitation that has been placed over your life for you, for you, for you, they are saying that you can never rise up above them, above, above the limit. I am telling you today that that limitation is broken off by the power of the Holy Ghost. Am I making sense to you? No, no, no. You see, we cannot tarry before God and some things are not dealt with. No! Write this day down. Write the time. Write the date. I say in the name of Jesus, that limitation is broken off. Go and live your life accordingly as God has commanded you to live. Oh, praise God. Lima kunta rabadaya, zebre debe kapando dodoya, yiku mada branda bazunda rabaya, reka papaya. Come on, claim it in the name of Jesus. I say, claim it in the name of Jesus. The next prayer topic we are going to pray because time is going, time is going, time is going. Ah, zala branda da da bazaka tabranda da da ya, ya branda branda kapando zanda ya, leke branda bini hapaya, le branda branda ne bah. We are praying. I'm going to give you this scripture so that when you have time, you just go and read it. Lamentations chapter 5, verse 2 through to 18. 2 Kings chapter 20, 
verse 21 through to chapter 20, verse 21 through to chapter 21 to 18. And Second Chronicles chapter 32, verse 33, through chapter 33, verse 2. Go and read it. When you, if, you don't, if you don't understand, contact me, I'll explain it to you. But our next prayer is this. Father, in the name of Jesus, any satanic business, any satanic transactions, any satanic trade, negotiations against our destinies we intercept it by the blood of jesus am i making sense to you we what we intercept it by the blood of jesus lift up your voice and begin to pray right now father god my father my father in the name of Jesus, by tender by, by, by tender by fire, by the blood of Jesus, I intercept every satanic transaction, satanic business over my destiny, over the destiny of my children, over the destiny of my marriage, over the destiny of my ministry. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Kapaya, Rapaya Payalada, Yapaya Paloloda, Rabalondo Robodonda, Rebacunda Rabacaya, Ripandi Miria Palosaya, Ribranda Malebrando Robozumayada, Ikumana Branda Bazundea, Epaleleha, Ramama. I command your hair to grow in the name of Jesus, Ramacunda Bradacaya, Yapala Branda Daha, Imrana Mazandaya, Yabrande Bedeha, Yabrande Bedeha. In the name of Jesus. There are some of you, your hair has been cut in the realms of the spirit. Your glory has been tempered with. There is a switch. But today by the power, the potent power of the Holy Ghost, I switch it back, I claim it back for you. I command your hair to grow. And I pray that it manifests physically in the name of Jesus. The scriptures again is Lamentation chapter 5 verse 2 through to 18. That is 1. <coughs> Second Kings chapter 20 verse 21 through chapter 21 and 18. So chapter 20, 21 and chapter 21 through to 18. And then Second Chronicles Chapter 32, verse 33, through to chapter 33, to what? To 2. Amen? Oh, praise God. We are praying in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are praying that Satan will not prevail over your life. Through any hoop, hoop, uh, loopholes. Okay, you are praying that Satan will not prevail, ancient demons will not prevail, curses will not prevail over your life, over your destiny, over your marriage, over your finances, through any loopholes in the name of Jesus. Come and pray for, for, for 60 seconds. I decree and declare Satan will not prevail over my destiny. He will not prevail over my children. He will not prevail over my marriage. He will not prevail over my ministry. He will not prevail over my finances. In the name of Jesus. There are some of you, like the man that sat at the at the at the at the at the at the at the, at the pool in Bethesda. For many years, you have been stagnant. You are not seeing any progress. 
uh, due to a challenge or due to a mistake. Today, I command in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. That is it. I said, I command in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. I break off the case of stagnation in the name of Jesus. La paluza rakapa. Imele brende de debaha. Oh, makuna rabakuma debre antala la bazo kapaya. You are praying in the name of Jesus. Last but two prayer. And then we are done for today. Hallelujah. Don't worry, we'll be on time. It's top 54. You are praying. I break through. Ha, zaka brada dada yakapa. I break through. Every blockade. Huh? I'm, I'm making sense. I break through every blockade of the enemy to possess my honor this year. And I seal every leakage in my life. Two-fold prayer. I break through every blockage to what to enter into my honor this year and i seal every every leakage by the blood of jesus come on pray for 60 seconds raba kanta la branda ya branda bele bazunda ba le ka brande be de brazunda ya imre ne be de ba brazun kapaya rapa le ba doze mango de breke re ba gondo raba zanda ya le bre de ba 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 jaba raba ba 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 jaba ba raba ba zanka da 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 la bra da ba ba jaba ba bra jaba ba raba ba ba jaba la ba 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 jaba ba ba ka ba bra da ba raba ba zanda la la ba ra ka ba ndo da ba le bra nda ba da ha i man to ndo ra ba dia do ndo ra ba le bra nda go ba go ba gu nde da ba ko do ya ka do go ba gu ma da bra ga da ga da ba zuge be ke de bre ke de ka re ka ba gu ma ra ba ga bra da ga da zuge li ka bra ga da ga le bra de me ka ba da bra da ba gu ma ni ria na da ba zo ya in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Jesus. La braza tala la baha. Imakata brada bada da baza nda bada da baha. The last prayer is this. I overcome every generational leakage. Every generational curse. Hallelujah. I overcome every generational curse in my bloodline and reclaim my possession in Jesus' name. There are gifts, there are talents, there are houses, there are money, there are marriages, there are babies that belong to you. Come on, lift up your voice and pray that I overcome every generational curse in my bloodline and reclaim my possession in Jesus' name. Lift up your voice and pray. Rakata Rabazon Talabaya. Zabranda Belebranda de Baha. Rakapando Brazanda de Debaha. Yebrenda Bedebranda de Debaha. Cabrada Badabala Baba Zanda Bradaha. Ibranda Balaba Brazanta la Labaha. Rakapantanda Branda de Debaha. Imran Amazon dobre de 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 ya kapranda bazun da brada baba ya kapranda bada baba zon da brada ka ya branda brada baba zan da da baba la brada baba ba jabran ka pa ya branda bado zan da 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 ya kapranda bado jabran da da ya brada bada baba da ba ka pan de de ha ya branda bazan da brada ha ya ka pan de 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 ha ya brandi bi a pan do do bazo ya branda bada bazun do do bazo I possess my possession now. I possess my financial breakthrough. I possess, I possess my breakthrough in ministry. I possess, oh God, my blessings. I reclaim it in the name of Jesus. Come on, reclaim your marriage. Reclaim your finances. Reclaim your children from the hands of the enemy. Reclaim it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now begin to bless God. Begin to thank God. Oh, I trust in you, Jesus. 
I trust in you, Jesus. I trust in you, Jesus. I trust in you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, the moment we have all been waiting for, tomorrow, Thursday, I am expecting to see you come and be blessed. Tarry until the impasse starts tomorrow. 8 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Let me tell you, the snow will not stop us. Oh. The rain will not... Eh, if, 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 if the devil wants, let him cause earthquakes. It will not stop us. Alright? Friday, we'll be here. Saturday, we'll be here. Sunday, we'll be here with Bishop Solomon Palmer. Oh, hallelujah. 2975 Moss Road, Sweet C. 2975 Morse Road, Sweet C. Come and experience the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you so much for joining me as we tarry before the Lord. Be blessed and remain blessed. All the prayer topics, go and use them to pray. Go back to season one episode one listen to everyone write down the prayer topics let that become your prayer topics for the year in jesus name be blessed may god reward you as you remain faithful in his vineyard hallelujah bye bye